Welcome back to another week of Young and the Restless Spoilers. For the week of August 26th to August 30th, we've got Victor convincing Kyle to fire Claire, Adam finally, for God's sake, coming clean, Sharon spiraling and going to the dark side and many more. So watch along to find out what you can expect to see in this upcoming week. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Starting off from Monday, August 26th, Jack Abbott is ready to extend an olive branch and mend things up with his son Kyle. Now, whether Kyle is smart enough to take it or not, that's another story entirely. Kyle, the brat he is, has been a bit too wrapped up in his own drama with Summer, and the guy can't even see that he is literally being used. Like how can he expect his own father's enemy to help him? But hopefully, Kyle will realize that he's just a pawn in Victor's game and take his father's offer for him as a lifeline. So here's to hoping he keeps his ego aside this time. Meanwhile, Nick Newman can't resist doling out advice to Phyllis, unsolicited as it may be. But Phyllis, being Phyllis, probably started ignoring him before he even finished his sentence. Let's face it, she's never been one to let anyone, especially an ex, dictate her actions. If Nick thought she'd take his words to heart, he's obviously mistaken. Over to the Romulatus, Daniel's world is about to be rocked by some deeply disturbing news, and you can bet it's got everything to do with his daughter, Lucy. The stakes are sky high as Daniel and Heather scramble to get through to their rebellious teen, who seems to be spiraling out of control. To make matters worse, there's chaos at the hospital, where Nick, Sharon, Daniel, and Heather all rush in, panicking like crazy. And we all know, a call from the hospital is never a good sign. Turns out, there has been a car accident involving none other than Faith Newman, who's unconscious, and Lucy Romilotti. Faith! And yup, you guessed it, Lucy was probably drinking again. We just can't believe the writers would do this again to Sharon. As the minutes tick by, these anxious parents are left clinging to hope, desperate for any piece of information about their daughter's conditions. Then on Tuesday, August 27th, talk about a blast from the past. Nick and Sharon find themselves trapped in a waking nightmare that feels very familiar. Back at the hospital, they're reliving one of the most tragic moments of their lives, as they watch Faith and Lucy being wheeled in on stretchers. Nick tries his best to keep it together for Sharon's sake, but the memories of Cassie's fatal accident are hitting him hard. It's like a horror movie on repeat, and this time, it's Faith who's in danger. Cassie's death has haunted Nick and Sharon for years. She was just trying to do the right thing, driving a drunk Daniel Romilotti Jr. home, but the night ended in tragedy when she lost control of the car. Now, it's happening all over again, only this time, Faith was the one behind the wheel, and Lucy was the one in the passenger seat, drunk again. Sharon's barely holding it together as she confronts Daniel full of anger. What if his out-of-control daughter costs her another child? The tension is rising. The situation takes another grim turn when it becomes clear that Faith's injuries are severe. She could end up in a coma, leaving Sharon and Nick to face the possibility that they might lose another daughter. Lucy, on the other hand, might wake up to find herself at the center of a storm she never saw coming. Daniel and Heather are left grappling with how their daughter ended up in such a mess, especially when she was supposed to be grounded. Worst part is Cassie was almost the same age as Faith when she died. Sharon's not going to be able to handle herself, if history is going to repeat itself again. And as if that wasn't enough drama for one day, Adam's past mistakes are finally catching up to him. Sally has been patient, but she's done playing games. She demands the truth, and Adam tries to wriggle his way out of it for the millionth time. But then Billy Abbott crashes the scene, looking worse for wear and ready to drop a bomb. Billy's never been Adam's biggest fan, so when he reveals that Chelsea confessed to sleeping with Adam in Baltimore, it's game over. Sally's rage is through the roof and Adam's lies have blown up in his face again, and this time, it might be the end of the line for them. On Wednesday, Jack and Diane are getting increasingly worried about the influence Victor Newman seems to have over their son, Kyle. And honestly, who wouldn't be? Victor's a master manipulator, and Kyle's just naive enough to fall right into his trap. As Victor weaves his web, Kyle's getting pulled deeper into a situation he might not be able to escape. Meanwhile, Chelsea's on a mission to get back in Billy's good graces, but it's not going to be easy. After everything that's happened, Billy's not exactly in a forgiving mood. Chelsea's argument that stuff happens might not be enough to win him over this time. Billy's got a lot of anger simmering beneath the surface, and Chelsea could end up bearing the brunt of it. But there's Adam of course, who's about to feel the real heat. As for Adam, he's in the hot seat as Sally finally gets the truth. 
When Billy tells her about Adam's Baltimore hookup with Chelsea, she is left reeling, and Adam's attempts to downplay the situation are only making things worse. Sally's had it with Adam's lies, and she's ready to walk if he can't come clean. I mean, this isn't the first time it has happened. That is exactly what broke them up the last time. And now, once again, after finally winning her love and trust again, he went and burned it into flames. This might be the final nail in the coffin this time around. Sally is pushing Adam to come clean once and for all, and with no more lies left to tell, Adam will be forced to confess. On Thursday, never one to miss an opportunity, Victor is using the tension between Jack and Kyle to his advantage again. He's got his eye on his new granddaughter Claire, and he's decided that it's time for her to move on to bigger and better things, namely, a position within the Newman Empire. Probably as Nikki's assistant again, rather than being a nanny for Kyle's little Harrison. Victor is subtle as a sledgehammer as he suggests that Kyle might want to consider finding a new nanny. With this, Kyle's left on a spot since it's clear that Victor expects him to act on it. But Victor's got a knack for making his demands sound like favors, and Kyle's in no position to refuse. The problem is, when Kyle starts looking for a replacement, Claire's going to be blindsided, and she's probably going to assume that Summer's behind it all. This could lead to some serious beef between Claire and Summer, who's completely clueless about it. Worse, if Claire really confronts Summer, this misunderstanding could push Summer and Kyle's fragile truce to the breaking point. Last but not the least, just when you thought Cameron Kirsten couldn't cause any more trouble, he decides to pop by again. Cameron's ghost has been haunting Sharon, pushing her to tap into the darkest corners of her mind. With Faith's life hanging in the balance, Sharon's fear and anger are bubbling up to the surface, and Cameron's influence might just be the final push that sends her over the edge. I mean, if she starts listening to Cameron's whispers, things could spiral out of control real fast. Meanwhile, Nikki has her sights set on the Chancellor throne, and she's not shy about using a little manipulation to get what she wants. She's trying to win Lily Winters over to her side, and figures a good old-fashioned history lesson might do the trick. Plus, with Billy burning bridges left and right, Lily might just be looking for a new ally. So Nikki's timing couldn't be better. Billy's antics have alienated just about everyone, and if Nikki plays her cards right, she could turn Lily into a powerful ally. The tension in Genoa City is at an all-time high right now, and with so many characters on the brink of a major decision, the fallout is sure to be explosive. And we're all here for it. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.